Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of My Mom's Recipe Box. Today, we are just so bummed because the price of eggs is ridiculous. And I'm thinking there are so many treats that I want to make and so many of them call for eggs. Well, I don't feel like taking a second mortgage out on the house just so I can make some cookies. So today we're going to make some cookies that are delicious and so decadent and wonderful and they do not have a single egg in them, okay? So come on over here and let's get started on a pan of delicious, decadent shortbread, people. Before we get started, I wanna give a shout out to our friend Kelly uh, for giving us this awesome mug for Christmas. It's the biggest mug we have and it holds 12 ounces, so I am drinking coffee like <laughs> There's no tomorrow, okay? So thank you, Kelly. So anyway, the first thing you want to do is, of course, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And the second thing you want to do is get yourself one of these beautiful shortbread pans. This pan is just for shortbread, and I want to thank my friend Sue Johnston for turning me on to this pan. This pan is amazing, Sue, I agree. So anyway, we're gonna start with this pan. Now you don't need a shortbread pan to make shortbread. You can put it in a brownie pan, you can put it in a pie pan, don't worry, okay? So, but what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have buttered your pan because you don't want your shortbread to stick. And I like to use butter in this pan because there's butter in the shortbread and I don't want to have any different flavored oil taste in my shortbread, okay? So come on over here. I've got my pastry brush, and I'm just going to brush melted butter into this pan. I want to get into all these little crevices, all these designs. I don't want to miss anything, okay? Because I don't want my shortbread to stick to the pan. I want it to come out beautifully so that I can eat the whole thing. Maybe the cameraman will get some. <laughs> no, he definitely will. He definitely will. Don't worry, guys. Okay, so let's get this all painted. Okay, there you go. And you can see how shiny it is where the butter is. Just make sure you're getting all in there. And if you're using a brownie pan or a cake pan, you could even use a cookie sheet if you wanted to. You can do these free forms, not a problem. There's no such thing as a problem when you're making shortbread. Okay, there we go. So this is all pretty well painted, pretty well greased up. I have about, um, I think about a tablespoon and a half of butter in my dish and I put it in the microwave to melt it. Okay. So I'm going to put this aside right over here and the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get started on our batter okay okay so what we're going to do now is we are going to get our ingredients mixed in the first thing we're going to put in here is three sticks of butter now this butter I put it out I took it out of the refrigerator last night and I set it out, okay? Because you want it to be about room temperature. You want it to be a little bit soft, okay? So I'm just gonna put this in my KitchenAid, like so. And then I'm using my paddle attachment, and we're just gonna beat this for a couple of minutes until it gets nice and fluffy. Don't skimp on the amount of time that you're beating this butter, okay? You want it to get nice and fluffy. So we're gonna let that go for like three, or four minutes, okay? Okay, guys, we have been creaming the butter here for three and a half minutes. And you can see it's much lighter. It's nice and soft. That's exactly how you want it to look. So now we can add one cup of powdered sugar, okay? And just want to put it in gradually because I don't want the cameraman to start wearing powdered sugar because he's very nicely dressed in dark colors today and we'd like to keep it that way. So we're carefully going to add the powdered sugar to our butter mixture. So remember that's three sticks of butter and one cup of powdered sugar. 
Now I know what you're wondering. Should I use salted butter or unsalted butter? The answer is use whatever you like. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so the sugar's in. We're going to give it a little bit more of a beat. There we go. And while this is mixing together, I want you to see my beautiful apron. And this is a gift from my bestie, Laura. Thank you, Laura. When you're working with flour and powdered sugar, you've got to have an apron, guys, okay? All right, so the powdered sugar is incorporated. And now we're going to put in the cameraman's very favorite ingredient. I'm not even going to tell you what it is because I know you know. Okay, it's vanilla. <laughs> this is about two tablespoons. Like, like you know this, we don't measure vanilla. Okay, now it's time for us to get the flour in. So I have the beaters on low, and I'm going to spoon this in, and I'm going to try, you know, I don't want to throw it all in at the same time because it's... Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Unfortunately, we had some video production problems um, in one of the clips of our video, which was where I was showing you how to put the shortbread batter into the shortbread pan. So I'm gonna do that for you right now, okay? So I have my pan and, you know, it was buttered. So what I do is place the batter the, it's actually more of a dough. Place the shortbread dough inside your pan. Take a piece of this parchment paper, you know, my favorite thing. Put it over top of your pan like so. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna press down on the parchment paper and make sure that your dough, your shortbread dough, is pressed into all the edges, the center, everywhere in your pan so it's a uniform thickness in your shortbread pan, okay? And you're gonna use the parchment because that way you won't get shortbread dough all over your fingers and the parchment is just gonna lift right up and there's not gonna be any mess for you, okay? So once you get that done, you're gonna put your shortbread in the oven at 350 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes. Uh, when it's nice and golden brown, which you'll see in the photo coming up next, when it's nice and golden brown, you'll be all set to take it out of the oven, let it cool for a few minutes, 10 minutes or so. I like to turn the oven off and leave it in the oven just to finish up the cooking without getting burnt, okay? Then you're going to want to take it out, flip it over onto a serving plate, give it a little wiggle. Sometimes you need to do that. And it should come right out. If you've buttered your pan, it should come right out, no problem. So join us for the big taste reveal coming up next. Thank you. Hi everybody. <laughs> Where are you, babe? Hi everybody, welcome back. Okay, so the shortbread is done mm -hmm. and I'm standing over here off camera and we are gonna do a taste test with our very, very, very good friends from Colombia. Cali. not super sweet, so for people who are afraid of like so sweet, no. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh my gosh. It's so mm -hmm. good. What do you think, Ruby? Uh, Try it. Like oh my god. Come here. Oh wow, aren't you lucky? Really? Oh, it was on camera. Wait, nobody saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby, you gotta eat it. On camera, girl. On camera. Ruby, how are you gonna become a star? Is it good? Oh, yeah, everyone loves it. <laughs> okay, so, oh, amazing. That's our episode of My Mom Goes Pew Box. Mm -hmm. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Mm -hmm. Share with your friends. Mm -hmm. And check us out on Facebook, My Mom Goes Pew Box. Bye.
拜拜。